Howdy, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Murdoch Madness Summoner's War. In today's episode, we will be evolving one of my four stars to a five star. Um, talking a little about a little bit about uh, runes again, and uh, also uh, Devilmon and Angelmon again, because that is the questions that I have been getting the most uh, at the moment. So let's dive straight in here. Alright. So first, uh, let me check this. See if there's any good runes. None. Okay. So let's go evolve first. And I have a choice to evolve uh, some of these. Either my fairy, uh, my ninja, Joker, uh, Nine-Tailed Fox, or my Sylph. And Sylph gives me a uh, shield, so she's a really good support. But my Ninja is like my main attacking unit. And uh, I really like him. So I'm going to go with the favorite this time to evolve. And as you can see, I have a lot of Antramon. <laughs> So, we're going to evolve him now. Oh, baby. Yeah. Yeah. So, he dropped down not too much. But, I'm pretty happy. Nice. My first five star. My ninja. And while we're at it, let's go in here and uh, collect. Go back to here, power up him. These are like awakened ones too. Fourteen, nineteen, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That's gonna be a 1.5 experience bonus, it looks like. Yep. So that took me from 1 all the way to 29. <laughs> so let's do it again, use the last couple of them. No bonus there, but still. Now I only need four levels to uh, max them out. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, I did get another Angemon uh, just a second ago. Another Rainbow one. So now I have two more. And uh, so yeah. Uh, my next project that I'm doing, uh, my next one I'm maxing is right here. Go look at her. I heard that uh, Rena is good, which is the Water Epicon Priest Awakened. But I also heard that. Uh, People are starting to move over to the fire Epicon Priest. Uh, when she's awakened, she's Chloe. And uh, I heard that they're moving to her because uh, something about her skills. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the shield. But yeah. Definitely. Her leader skills increase the defense. Of an allies monster in by 27%. So she's really good at defense. I uh, really good at uh, defense and HP. So the runes that I have on her are all energy runes. And as you can see, some of them aren't good yet. I'm just trying to get them down. And she's pretty easy to awaken. Um, you only need uh, 20 mid. And when the fire boss comes out again, I'll be uh, getting that pretty easily. So an awakener to Chloe. And it increases her attack speed by 15. Awakening her greatly increases her basic stats. And of course she becomes a special monster. My next uh, project will probably be uh, this rock. Rock Sasha. Here's her skills. Her attack is supposed to be really really good. And uh, her speed. So 
And here we go, we have uh, decreased the attack speed. There's a chance for attacking with the whip. And then we have a uh, fast swing attack three times in a row. Uh, so she attacks super fast. So uh, the runes I probably will put on her would be the uh, a set of violent runes. Get extra turn plus 20%. So she can have more uh, times to hit, and then uh, probably uh, maybe a blade. So her crit chance goes up by 12%. I'll have to go and see uh, really what I should do. But yeah, that's that. Uh, runes. There's a couple different kinds of runes. There is. The first one, which is the normal rune, which is the white ones. You got the second one, and uh, those runes are magic runes, the, the ones that are green. Then you got the blue ones, which are rare. The uh, pink or purple ones that are uh, hero. And then you got the legend ones, and they are orange. Legend ones are the best. But uh, I think they go from one to four or five stars, the runes. So, so that's a little bit about the runes. Uh, Angel, Angelmon. People, please quit using your Angelmon to uh, quit sacrificing and using them to level up your people when they're not maxed. When you max them, it gives them a chance to do a 1.5 experience uh, boost. So. Please max them. They're really easy to max. Like three full uh, uh, summon scrolls, which are five times each, will get them maxed. And uh, Devilmon, which you can purchase in the glory shop, which I'll show you after I kick these guys' butts, is uh, Devilmon. If you use a Devilmon, or uh, if you sacrifice the same type, doesn't matter if it's uh, the same uh, like uh, ability type, like fire or water. If it's the same type of monster, you can uh, sacrifice them to the monster that you want to level, and it'll get its skill up a level. <coughs> One second, I really had to sneeze. <laughs> but yeah, it'll get its skill up a level. So Devilmon are pretty good to uh, have, but it does it randomly. It levels up uh, one of your skills of your monster randomly, so you don't know which one. Like, let me, uh, let me show you the Devilmon. Go to shop. Glory shop, right there. Devilmon. Look at it. What it does is I can show you a monster that I already used another monster on. I had a uh, wind uh, inferno. And if you go to skills, you can see that his Hellfire is level 2. And that is because I sacrificed one of the same types of monsters to him in the, uh, the leveling up place. And it got him to a 2. But if you give him a Devilmon, it does the same thing. But like I said, it does it randomly. So that's what Devilmon do. I've been asked these questions a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Like it's ridiculous. <laughs> so... To clear up any misunderstanding, that is exactly what they do. We collect all of my goodies. Got some extra energy, which is always needed. Now, for the arena, I've been getting some really good people that I can't beat, and it makes me really, really angry. Like, really angry. <laughs> Like, I can't beat some of them. Like, right there. That three-star awakened uh, imp is supposed to have, like, super attack. Like, one of my friends that I use, his does, like, 4k damage to every single person with one of his attacks. It's ridiculous. See, look at all these guys. I don't... I don't feel like I could beat any of these guys. I guess I can try this one. Try this one just to show you guys. I really want Han. Han looks sick. But, 
You can't really summon any light or dark units. Like, I don't understand how you could summon those. You'd have to get a scroll. And those are really hard to, uh... You have to get a light or dark scroll, and those are really hard to come by. You usually have to buy them. <laughs> that or uh, an event comes out, and you can possibly get something good like that. So I'm going to take out the Inugami first as my strategy because his attack is ridiculous and he's down. Then I'm going to take out uh, this girl. She has really high defense so her sustain is ridiculous and they're probably going to take out my Joker or maybe not with these shields. No, they still might. He just took all my shields away. There goes him. Then I'm gonna take out this little dude. His attack is, he's fast and his attack is kinda good. Not really, not as good as the Inugami. But Inugamis have a special ability where they can make those uh, little hounds listen to him and they attack at the same time. All right, so that, I beat that person. Uh, you do get points when people attack you and they lose. You do get points uh, for that. So, just remember that. Tagoros, that's the, that's the, actually that is the next project I was, I'm gonna working on. Like a side project. So first of all, I'm gonna take out their fire girl. Just because uh, she is the strongest probably out of all of them uh, with attack. And uh, I have the type advantage on two of my guys on her. And I don't want her to take out my Sylph, which she'll probably will try to take out. So, take her out first. That'll probably do it. Uh, nope. Just kidding. There we go. I'm gonna take out their healer. Because those other two, one's defense and one's like a support type of attack. What it really does is he's just good at stunning uh, that Garda. I'm gonna take out their defense next. Shouldn't be too hard. He upped his defense just now, but my guys are pretty good. So now I'll take out the last one. And I'll probably get hit by this tower before that happens, but as you can see, that person doesn't really pay a lot of attention to upgrading their tower very much. See, I only got three for that. Yeah, that person. Oh, wow. He only has one. Yeah, that person isn't very good at all. We got a level 16 here. Oh, I'm gonna wipe the floor with this person. I really want. That's the one I really want. Arte, Artemiel or whatever. Artemiel, something like that. All right. First things first. Like I said, take out this guy first. I can do it in a couple attacks. Just because of that reason right there, he attacked my freaking support. Alright, he's gone. I'm going to take out their wind because their wind is what uh, can hurt my uh, water guys. I don't want that at all. I love Joker's surprise box. Love it. Ooh, she is squish. That should do it. Nice attack on him. And then I'll take out their healer. She's going to try to do that, but I can't do anything. And snap, crackle, pop. Another victory. Chalk that on the board. All right. That's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I did snag a uh, mystical scroll from the bosses a little while ago. So I'm going to save those up a little bit so we can have a good summoning video. But if you like what you saw, please subscribe, like, and comment. Um, anything you would like to comment about this video. Uh, at all, whether helpful or if you're mad I did something wrong, uh, please tell me. And uh, other than that, I'm going to be getting out of here, so I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'm peacing out. See ya.